Turning our attention now to the ASX, here's Matt Burney and Bulls and Bears with the latest public company views and interviews. Welcome to Bulls and Bears, where we break down the latest ASX announcements from public companies that are doing interesting things. Today's Bulls and Bears report is brought to you by Kazali Resources, ASX code CAZ. I'm Matt Burney and I'm joined now on 6PR by the Joint Managing Director of Kazali Resources, Clive Jones. Hi, Clive. Yes, good morning, Matt. Kazali Resources has been a long time and sometimes high profile participant in the WA resources sector. The company has had a string of successes across a range of commodities from iron ore and uranium through to gold and base metals. Its latest corporate move saw the company buy out its 80% partner in the Halls Creek Copper Zinc project in WA that boasts some extraordinary drill intersections. Clive, firstly, what did the deal look like for you to buy out your partner's 80% interest in that project? The payment involved an initial $50,000 payment and a further $200,000 upon completion which we don't think will be too far away, and then a further $250,000 upon uh, future production. And a quick look at some of the old drill numbers at that project tells me that there's some pretty long intersections. What are some of the best drill numbers at the Halls Creek Copper Zinc project to date? When we were operating the project, we were getting intercepts of uh, 64 metres at 2.7% copper, uh, 62 metres at 2.4% copper, some zinc intercepts, 37 metres at 6% zinc, 39 metres at 3.6% zinc. Is the, deposit, is the deposit still open? Yes, it is. We've mapped the host mineralising sequence from another one kilometre to the north, which has yet to be drill tested. And also at depth, there are some quite high downhole conductors, which we'd like to drill as soon as we can. Kazali has been something of a corporate mover and shaker over the years, and I think arguably one of your better deals was the sale of your Parker Range iron ore project to Mineral Resources. Can you remind me of the numbers around that deal? Uh, we sold that for $20 million cash and a royalty. Production has commenced on the project now, so we expect that the current stream, after the first 10 million tonnes, has been produced. And what is that royalty per tonne? That's 50 cents a tonne uh, produced. I see in what looks like a bit of a surprise move, Kazali recently pegged a, a large area in WA's Ashburton Basin in the north. What prompted you to jump into that terrain? Yeah, look, it's a very large pretty much a, an unforgotten gold field in a sense. So the Ashburton was uh, the, the home to a major gold rush but way back in the 1890s there were some 8,000 men working parts of that field. So there's a lot of gold in the belt but no one's really explored the central part of that belt where Geoscience Australia um, completed a deep seismic survey uh, testing the uh, and modelling the, the earth down to the, down to the mantle um, and it found a major structure which taps the mantle and that's the sort of structure you want to see for giant ore bodies. So in fact, you've got a uh, historic goldfield and um, a major potential mineralising structure attracted us. Clive Jones from Kazali Resources, thanks very much for joining me on 6PR today. And just remember, Bulls and Bears is only here to give you information, not advice, which you should, of course, seek independently. I'm Matt Burney. Thanks for listening to Bulls and Bears. For more public company CEO interviews, go to the money page at 6pr.com.au and click the Public Companies tab.